Hi, in this video tutorial I'm going to explain to you one of the new features of Photoshop CS4 called Content Aware Scaling. It's a bit difficult to do this as a series of screenshots um, for a normal written tutorial, so I'm going to use a video for this one. This image here I took in Knoll Park recently, um, in a recent batch of snowy weather. And having seen it on the screen, I'm not completely happy with the composition. It's not quite central, there's more space over here than there is over here, um, and there's too much foreground. Well, I could just simply crop this image, but let's see what happens when I crop it. Okay, it's taken out some of the foreground and evened up some of that side area. Okay, so that's, that's just a crop. But now, having cropped it, the gap here between the two subjects seems to become more exposed. The subject seems to be more pushed towards the edge. And it's not ideal. The composition still doesn't really work. So we'll let's just take a screenshot of that. And let's just make my work area a little bit bigger. Right, it's a bit bigger, that's better. Yeah, so I, I'm not comfortable now with the space in between the two, two images, where before, um, you didn't notice it quite so much. So we'll get rid of that and go back to the original image. And what we can do is content aware scaling, which basically allows us to crop this image or rescale the image without affecting the subject here. First of all, we have to select the canvas, so select all, and then go to edit content aware scaling. And now you've got these little handles around the image. And if I drag this handle in, notice the image starts to collapse in on itself. But the main subjects here haven't been affected at all. So I pull it out or drag it in, they stay the same. But what's happening is this background, the empty areas are concertinoing up, if you like, shrinking up. If you go too far, you will eventually start to distort the main subject, but on this one you've really got to go some now. Now you see this log is collapsing because I've actually gone beyond what it can possibly do. But let's bring it out. But notice also that I'm collapsing this space here and I wanted to preserve this space to actually balance off this space. So we'll cancel that. Press escape to cancel it. And we can deselect that selection and we can preserve this bit by just keeping it outside of the selection so if I use the marquee tool to select the area I want to collapse this bit's outside so it won't be affected and now if I go to edit content aware scale and drag this in notice now this area is not being affected and it's only this area in fact actually it's mainly the centre bit which is also a little bit of a nuisance because we wanted this to collapse as well but that's okay, we can work with that. So let's just pull these two trees closer together. Now you want now remember I wanted to get rid of some of this area here, this foreground, but if I bring this up, notice it's not the foreground this time that's collapsing, it's mainly the sky. And the reason for that is the sky has got less detail in than the foreground. Okay, this foreground hasn't got much in, but it's still got the shades and the shapes of the bumpy snow here, which is it's trying to protect over the very, very plain blank sky. So what I'm actually ending up doing is creating, changing the position of my horizon, which I don't really want to do. So I'll put that back to there and I'll accept this transformation by hitting return. My PC is working a little bit slowly today, so this is going to take a few minutes, but normally it'd be a bit quicker, but bear with me. Okay, so that's that, that's transformed. I'll deselect that. Now I'll make a new selection. This time I'm going to select main in the foreground because I don't want to affect the sky too much. I want to keep that proportion right. So file, so edit, content aware scale, and we'll just drag the bottom bit up. And notice now it's the bottom bit that's collapsing and not the sky. Okay. I think that's probably about right. Select that. Deselect 
So now let's crop this image. We'll select the white area and select inverse image crop. Select. Okay, let's bring these back out. Shrink these down a bit. So this is our resulting image. Take a screenshot of that. And then if we compare it with the previous screenshot where I just did an ordinary crop, that's the difference. In this one they're closer together, more towards the centre, and here they're further out. And this is the original image altogether. So the original image and the final image has been scaled with content awareness. Straight crop, original image, scaled with content awareness.